<laughs> Welcome to Florida Keys Life. I'm Jason. And I'm Reagan. And today we caught lots of big yellowtail. We came out with an objective to catch sharks. We hooked four sharks. I gotta respool my reel, something's wrong. Uh, but we caught some good yellowtails. We were on fish all day. It was a great time. We'll show you the fish at the end, all spread out, uh, ready to be cleaned. Some nice big yellowtails. Not quite flags, like half flags, a couple of them. Uh, but into the yellowtail. It's one of the cool things that you can do when you live down here in the Keys. Regs took a day off. Three, two, one. Welcome to Florida Keys Life. All right, Regs is playing hooky from tool. Don't get tangled up in that one. No. Oh, you are, you are. Okay, that's a good size yellowtail. We can use that as bait. It's perfect. Okay, so you gotta figure out where you're at. There you go, back around. Okay, well, that's a good size yellowtail. Okay, yellowtail. Keeper size yellowtail going back down for grouper bait. We've got a skunk off the boat, fish in the boat. Excellent job, buddy. Did you do a chum ball with that or did you no, just do squid? Just squid. Squid on a jig, drifting down. Oh, look at that cloud of fish underneath us there. Big time fish. That's why I love this spot. It's loaded. Damn. Wait, wait, are we here? Got one? Nice. All right, turn this on and turn it off. The brakes catch the fish right away. So. up and chase yellow too. Wait. Okay, let's feel Ray Greg's throwing the jig rod out. She's been Getting action almost every cast. Putting some squid just on a, a, a three ounce jig, and the current's ripping. So she's casting it up current and letting it drift down with the current. And the fish really like that, and it sinks down. Schools of fish are hanging out around 40, 50 feet. We're in 100 foot of water on the edge of the reef. Here she goes. She's gonna cast it out. Perfect. So the current's ripping that way. So she'll let it drip down. And uh, hope we get something. This one might be a little bit bigger. He's big too. Yeah. That's the whatever you call it. Alright folks, well Regs is starting to clean up on some yellowtail, which is kind of saving the day. We got three of them, a couple of big ones. Uh, but we have not been doing so hot today. We've had one shark on, we've had two bigger fish that I think were groupers that broke us off. And the shark, somehow even though I had my cable leader, broke off in a short period of time. I think it was somehow somewhere near where the my 80 pound braid connected to my cable leader. So, aside from the sagas, we got more sagas on big fish today, but Ray's starting to clean up on the yellowtail. So much so, I'm rigging up my other rod to get in on this yellowtail. Oh, look at that rod. Which one? This one right here. Try to get in on this yellowtail action that's happening right here. Schools here, there's some bigger ones in that school. There we are. This is a real light rod. Yeah. Got him, just as he came back. 
Definitely a keeper. Oh, he came off right there. Keeper Yellowtail. Here's what's bigger. That one? Yeah, it's fine. Nice. That's a keeper. Only a 12 incher. Right there. Get it, Regs. Nice. Like somebody knows what they're doing. Another yellow tail or the ceviche or taco. Yellow tail. It's 12 inch because I know the table's 12 inches. So lay it down there on the table. We want to check it. Except for don't let it do that. Get it, get it, get it. Can I pinch the tail? Pinch it. See? Yeah. Bam. If I ever do this by myself, that's probably going to be the death What do you mean you can do this by yourself? No, like, like I have like nobody. <sighs> All right, folks. Yellowtail's happening. Shark's not. Okay, we're in a patch of sharks here. Reg I just lost one on the big rod. Reagan's on the next smaller rod, but that's sufficient, but it only has 80 pound mono leader. Oh my gosh. Set up for a grouper. She's gonna fight it as much. Did it just pop off? No, no, I just let it slide. I just okay, let it do that. It'll probably break a little bit, but you can pull on it for a while. Let me get these out of the way here. Yeah, it's a big weight. Oh wait, it might have came off. I can't tell. Well, straight up, remember? I am. Did it come off? Pull back. Wait, I don't think. Stays, get, get it around the motors. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Around the motors. There you go. Okay, up and over those rods. It's running a lot, Dad. Okay, let it run. That's good if it scopes out that way, because there's nothing that can mess us up. I kind of want it to stay away from the boat. The problem I had with the one yesterday is I wanted to stay right at the boat. So I was... It's going to break on oh, so bad. the hook just in the corner of its mouth the whole time. We could theoretically bring it in. Do the right thing. Uh, because it'll eat the leader. That's why I'm bringing up this cable leader. It's running a lot. Okay. Big hitch. I gained a lot on him, but now he's taking it all back. Okay, excellent. So I can make it really tight, yeah? Yeah, but I, I don't adjust the drag much. Let me come get you the No, plane. not the drag. I meant like keep the tension on the on the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, you want to keep tension on it. Like a lot? But I feel like it's free. You don't want to tire yourself out too soon. I'm not really Hey, do you want the fighting belt? Or why don't, you want me to put it on and lean on him for a little while, or what do you want? Uh, do you want to I kind of would like to feel him out to see if I can tell yeah. how big he is. Yeah. I think he's pretty big. Big head shakes? They're scary. I feel like they're 
I thought like sometimes like after he's done running, it seems like there's not a fish on at all and I can like do whatever I want. Okay. All right, from yesterday's shark fiasco, my hips are bruised all to heck. So I bought this Calcutta fighting uh, belt here. Hopefully will let me lean into a fish without killing myself. We got the other shark rod with the steel leader out. Oh, I don't think it's sinking. We got this one, mono leader. I don't know. Nice. Good job. It's like Lloyd Christmas. So, so you're telling me there's a chance. Lloyd Christmas. Oh my gosh, don't tell me he came up. No. But like, see, like it doesn't feel like a shark and I can just reel as much as I want. And then he, no. Oh my gosh, I think it came off. Did it just come off? Oh. So, reel, 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 reel. It did, it did. It did? Yeah. Check it out. Hey, okay, that's the, it just popped. Mono leader, the chances are slim. We got another bait down here on a cable leader, so maybe. How do you feel, Rags? That's my life for so several shark attempts. Got him? Wait, am I... You know, they're, they're like that. Oh, it's big, it's big. It's big. Okay. It's running. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I got one here too. We're going to get two. Should I just let it run here? Yep. Let it run. Okay. Oh, you had this recording. Yeah, we're still recording. Wait, we might, we have the same one? We might. We might have picked them both up. Yeah, because they were running at the same time. Same. Yeah, they're running at the same time. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Okay, well, we have the same fish on. Okay, the sharks weren't working for us today. I kept breaking off my main line. So I decided after this to go ahead and re-spool all my rods with bigger stuff. And I go back out the next day, you won't see the video for a little while, and we finally land a big shark. Super cool. That episode will be coming up in a little bit. But we headed home, enjoyed the ride, and uh, brought our yellowtail back. Alright, so today, mixed results. We got some good fish, which I'll show you here in a second. Hooked four sharks, didn't work out so good. But that's fishing, it's up and down, it's not catching. If it was called catching, that would be different. It's called fishing, and we had a good time. It was nice weather, right? Would you yep. rather have been to school? No. No. Okay. No. This is this is our catch for the day. Now we kept uh, a few more uh, keepers that we used as bait. I think three different ones. So these ones are pretty good. They're like 17, 18 inches, or 16, 17. I don't think they're quite 18, but those are some not quite flags, but close. Okay. Oh we God. used a few of these for bait and uh it was a good day so we appreciate you like be sure to like and subscribe for more more videos like this we just recently got monetized so fuel's not cheap so <laughs> we appreciate you watching it peace what right. the flip was that we appreciate okay, no, you watching no, no, no. wait no, no don't do that okay okay, okay. uh um uh, thanks for watching <laughs> i can stop it anywhere yeah all right thanks for watching <laughs> bloopers i guess okay now let's do the thumbnail so hold up at least the two of the big ones okay let's hold Wait. them by the gills yeah there you go that makes them look bigger yeah so there good 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 and then kind of in front of them wait i want to do this one you should bite one by the tail and hold it by your mouth Ooh. will you do that with the small one yeah Okay, I'll hold, get that one on there too. On, on another open finger. its gills, it won't open. The teeth are getting you. Got You gonna bite one? Yeah. By the tail? Okay, you ready? <laughs> Bam. Wait, okay, right, we got let it. Me I'll get take more. a snap. I'll take more. a snap. Let me get more. All right, here we go. What the heck? Okay, I have one. Oh my god. Don't laugh too hard. Wait, what do I do? 
do? That's it. Okay. I'll take a snap. Oh my gosh, that is so cool.